Okay, everyone, welcome back to the Forex Farm. Just a quick video to talk about my strategy that I use. I've used for, for quite a long time. It's very simple, uh, and I'm currently using it in my 50 to 100,000 Forex challenge. Let's have a look. So here we are on uh, GJ, and this is the exact trade that I called out the other day, which is trade number one of my 50 to 100,000 challenge. Now, I called this out yesterday, so you know if you're following along, you'll see that I'm not sort of cherry picking trades and stuff. It hasn't played out yet, it's got a long way to go, but I got in around about here, and as you can see, it's currently heading in the right direction. We've stopped to break even now that we've closed just above, well, we haven't, mm, maybe wait another four hours and see if we close above this area of resistance here. If we do, then I'll be looking to uh, move my stop to break even. But let me talk about this trade and how I'm decided that this was a good trade, what my strategy was, my steps, my process, um, and then you can take it away and, and see if it works for you. So first and foremost, what I would do, and I do this typically on a Sunday night, I go through my watch list uh, and I'll start on the weekly time frame. And what I would do here is I would just have a look and see if the market is bullish or if the market is bearish. Now, in the case of GJ, the market is clearly bearish. Now, how do we find out whether it's bullish or bearish? We just look at what the market is telling us. So it's creating higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, and higher highs and a higher low. And then we would like to think that it would create another higher high. So that's all I'm doing. I'm not going back years. I'm just looking at relative price action. And I can see that the market is bullish. I would head down to the daily next and I'd do the same thing. So what are we looking like? So we're going higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, lower low, lower high. Listen around a little bit, lower low, higher high, higher low, higher high, high. And then as you can see, we're still it looks like we're bearish, but we're not creating a lower low yet because we haven't broke here, but we did at this point. And then we've created a potential higher high there, as you can see, because we broke that uh, structure there. So the daily is a little bit confusing, but you've got to remember that overall we look bullish on the daily. We've got to sort of go bearish in order to hit, net, you know, in order to hit a higher low on the weekly. So looking at the daily, it looks relatively bullish. Drop down to the four hourly, and on the four hourly we can see we are largely, or we were largely bearish. So we go back to the weekly. So we know we're bullish. So if I'm framing a trade on the weekly, I would look uh, to mark my support and resistance levels on the weekly first and foremost. And this area here is a clear area of support. Prices come up, it's come down, it's found support here. It's bounced up, it's come back again, it's found support. These tails as well, these long wicks are also telling me that price has tried to trade down and hasn't been able to be pushed back up. It's a good sign that price is gonna go up. So this would be my key area of support. I've also got a line in here, and I say, what is that line? That is a psychological level, which is currently set at the wrong level. Yeah, I did it set at 181, yeah. So 181, psychological level, uh, which is an area where you would think people would buy and sell from. It's a round number, people like round numbers, so it ties in as well. It just adds another confluence to the overall trade. So that's my area there. I would be looking to take a trade from this area. So drop back down to the daily, and now the daily doesn't look so bad. So yeah, it's bullish, it's bullish turns bearish because it's got to turn bearish to come down to our area here it's not bearish on the weekly it's just a lower high but on the daily it would have to turn bearish because it's a lower time frame same on the four hourly if you look at the four hourly it looks very bearish but it's only because it's creating a lower high on the weekly so you don't need to be too concerned if other time frames aren't necessarily in sync as long as the overall trade idea makes sense to you and it did the weekly is bullish to come into an area of uh, support. The other time frames are 
showing that it's come into that area. Now, how do I find my entry? So my entry is pretty straightforward, really. I will take entries from the four hour, the one hour, and 50, 30 minutes and 15 minutes, typically. And I'll look at the four hour, and I got in this trade a little bit late, really. But what I would typically do, let's go back you know, to sort of here. So I'm looking at this market now and I'm going, right, we've come into our area of the support. I want to see us break bullish on the four hour in order for me to want to take a trade. And if we follow price, we can see we have created lower low, lower high, lower low, higher high. So that's an area where you could have potentially got in, potentially it would have been a loser. We created another lower low, lower high, we're not doing anything here, we're not breaking anything here. Higher, so we've currently created a higher high there, we've broken this. So now I'm interested, so what's happening next? Now that candle to me is a perfect entry signal. Bullish engulfing, looks good. I would then be dropping down to a lower time frame, like maybe the one hour, and I would be waiting for a retracement to a zone. Now, I didn't talk about this in my last video, but this is what I do. I essentially will, will, will draw a fib. It doesn't have to be exact. I'd be looking at sort of, where's the big move? Well, there's a big move here. So I'd be looking to draw a Fibonacci. And I'd be looking to enter around about the 71% or what people call the golden zone. So I'd wait on the one out to see if we come down here. I don't know if we do. Do we come down? We do. We just about came down to the golden zone there, so I would, I'd, I'd be entering about here. Oh, we'd, we'd definitely come down there. Look at that. I'd be entering, yes, yeah, so that's where I'd enter, right there on that candle. I didn't enter, as you can see. I was a little bit late. I wasn't at the charts, but I would have typically entered here. I'd have a stop around about here. And then what I would do is I would go onto the weekly time frame. People would always go, well, why would you go onto the weekly? What are you going onto the weekly for? You know, that, that's nuts. Don't go onto the weekly time frame. I framed my trade on the weekly. So I've drawn my area of support on the weekly. I've looked at market structure on the weekly. So I would have my take profit on the weekly and it would be here, which is the last, the higher high close of candle. That is where my take profit would be. I would use the lower time frames to get a clean entry to have a, a smaller stop loss. So here on the on the one hour, it's gone to the four hour in fact, we are, it's a 6.5 to one, and that's where I would have entered. And as you can see, that's where we are so far. You know, we're, we're not far off, to be honest. Now this might just turn around and, 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 and hit stop loss, but you can see the overall trade idea. And that's what I do. I do that every day. Now it so happens on this challenge, I am seeing if I can just over leverage and over, you know, risk everything just to see what we can do, uh, just for a bit of fun. Um, but overall, this works really well. And you'll get 70 to 80% typically, uh, but you're not taking trades all the time. You're not taking trades all the time. Each trade might last about a week, it might last a couple of days, but it's slow, but it works and it works really well. So that's a quick overview of the strategy that I use. Follow along because I'm showing you all the trades that I'm taking in the challenge to turn 50 to 100,000. So follow along, like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Bye for now.